Today's date, uh, December 2nd, 2012. Uh, and again, it's the fourth annual Stuffed Pig Athletic Day, which is an event that we uh, now have been hosting for four years. Uh, it started off as a small little thing, you know, just a, a dinner and a small auction. And, and here we are with a dinner that has pre-sold somewhere in the neighborhood of 350 tickets. We have eight or nine tables of items that have been contributed from the community. And we have a carnival going on across the street for the kids. And it's a fun afternoon and, and, and the day is great. Karen Dennis, uh, the owner of the Stuffed Pig, you know, she opens up her doors and uh, we uh, have all the athletes in the Marathon High School uh, go out and sell tickets. I can uh, go on and on about Karen Dennis, everything that she does about the community, for the community and for the kids here in this community. And uh, the Stuffed Pig and her and Mike Sink, you both uh, so graciously opened their doors every year for us. And I, and I want to thank her sincerely from the bottom of my heart for all that she does for the kids here at Marathon. Here we have uh, city, city, city manager. City manager Roger Hernstead and his family that uh, come out every year and join us. Thank you, Chris. Uh, and, and Chris, uh, he comes uh, he comes out every year and joins us at our event. Uh, he's uh, we could always count on him for support on anything to do with the, the kids and especially here at Marathon High School. Roger? Yeah, uh, just uh, it's a pleasure to be here and support the high school and support the community and uh, it's a great event and. Uh, Everyone should come down to the Stuffed Pig if they can, not this time, but another time, and enjoy the great food and great ambiance. Mr. Marathon has just shown up. Timing uh, is good. You called me great. Yep. Right on time. Yeah, right right on, on time. time. Mr. Marathon, uh, he, he's also, uh, I mean, we've been putting on this program for four years, like I talked about at the intro, but... Has it been that long? Uh, he's like 100 years. Yeah, Mike has been working for the youth of Marathon High School. God, I got to say at least 40 years through different events. Thank you. Um, and it's, uh, you know, he's come on and uh, on board with us and anything that we ask of him here at the Booster Club, he helps facilitate and make it happen. Well, anything you like to add, Mike? Well, it's always fun. You guys do a great job and, you know, it's a good bunch of kids, good bunch of families and uh, it's all for the right program to help these kids out. And so, uh, you know, between, uh, you say between Spook and uh, Louie, you know, it's always a lot of fun and it's, it's never a burden. It's always a lot of fun. And uh, Coach Leo was just leaning up against the ring here watching, uh, his uh, his kid uh, on the bull ride itself, which actually I'm, I'm I've been challenged to get on there a little bit later, so I'm going to be getting on myself. But uh, again, this is one of the events, one of the items that we added to this year's event. That uh, as the years go on, we just make it bigger and bigger. And I, we thought that this was something that the kids would have a, a great time on. As you can see, this boy here is uh, trying his hardest not to fall off. Here's uh, Coach Kevin Freeman, who uh, is in charge of our uh, basketball program and golf program at uh, Marathon High School. And uh, his programs are direct benefactors of everything that uh, the Middle Keys Booster Club does. And, and he's always uh, not only a coach, he's always a supporter uh, of anything that we do to, uh, to try to uh, raise funds. As uh, we talked about earlier, you know, the, the funds for travel are, are, are very hard to come by, so it's events like this that make it possible. Yeah, we definitely appreciate the McKees Booster um, driving up to uh, Miami for most of our away trips in a yellow bus, school bus. It uh, takes a toll on you after after a while, so going up into charter buses uh, really helps the team out a lot and helps us out a lot, and uh, can't, uh, can't thank them enough for it. We're with uh, the lovely Karen Dennis, the owner of the Stuffed Pig, and uh, joining us this afternoon is uh, Dick Ramsey, city council member here at Marathon, who is also uh, another member of the community that's willing to help Marathon High School athletes and students in whatever endeavor they do. Uh, he comes out to our events faithfully. He's at our games. He, he, you know, we could call Mr. Ramsey at the drop of a hat and whatever we need for the students, he's there. Well, that's the way this town is. You know, we've discussed it before and uh, how about yourself? You're the hero here, you know, you're doing all this. Well, no, it, it takes a, a whole group like uh, what we have here to, to put an event like this on. Karen and Mike, uh, Karen Dennis and Mike Sink, you always step up whether it's for the high school students, the elementary students, even the, the grade school students over at Grace Jones, they're always the, the ones that are the backbones that are willing to, the, to put their business out there and, and help uh, the youth of this uh, community. And the community members, uh, you know, always bound together to, to make things and events like this happen. Mr. Ramsey, thanks again for coming and, and always being part of our programs. As we work our, our way around this afternoon, uh, we're under the tent where a lot of the uh, activities take place this afternoon where it's the, uh, the silent auction where we have businesses from throughout the community, charters that uh, have uh, donated and uh, everybody walks around and uh, puts bids on them and it closes at the end of the day. And uh, luckily enough, to, we're under the tent and we find uh, newly, newly elected school board member, Captain Ed Davis, 
uh, joined by uh, Superintendent Porter and his lovely wife, Jane. Uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, like I said, Captain Ed Davis is also a, a, not only is he a member of this community, he is the newly elected school board member that we can also count on him for uh, anything that we need for the youth here in this community. Uh, Captain Ed has always been around and, and, and willing to help. Uh, Mr. Mark Porter, our superintendent of schools, um, he's joined our uh, staff here. It's been probably about four, four, four or five months. Correct. And uh, he's hit the ground running. He, uh, he there, There's been no uh, on-the-job training as far as uh, the, the superintendent job is concerned, maybe uh, learning uh, how it, it goes on in the Keys, but as far as uh, the experience, he brought the experience that was needed to tackle this job. We sure did. Okay. Okay. Tell you what, Louie, we're glad to be here, really glad here to support Marathon, the community, the high school, and the athletic program. What a great opportunity for us to share with you. Karen McKeon is a, an active member of, of our schools, of our community. Uh, she helps the Marathon, the Mid-Keys Booster Club, in anything that we ask her to do. She is actually the organizer of the silent auction that's uh, set up behind me. She uh, goes throughout this community, anywhere from the Seven Mile Bridge to Duck Key. Uh, if you have a business, uh, Karen McKeon visits you. and. Uh, she gets gift certificates, items. Uh, uh, she has, uh, I think, seven or eight uh, charters on different boats. Uh, she has hotel stays. She has dinners. You name it, Karen McKeon. Uh, she makes her way into your business. Again, uh, you know, Karen, thank you for everything that you do for our students here at Marathon High School and throughout the community. And last year we made 3,700 bucks on just the auction alone. On, so on, ju so on just the auction alone, Amazing. Karen McKeon brings in, like I said, almost 4,000. And, and I think just from looking around at the tables uh, this afternoon, I think Karen will uh, surpass her last year total. Yep. Okay, here I am again with uh, uh, Ed Sims, who, uh, who is a, a, a strong supporter of the uh, mid Keys Booster Club. But, you know, Ed is our behind-the-scenes go-to guy, which, uh, you know, his kids have been out of school for years. But no matter what we need, we go to Ed, and Ed takes care of it. Again, Ed, thank you for everything that you do. Thank you, Louis. You're the man. Thank you. Glad to have you. Glad to be here. Yeah. <laughs> On behalf of the Organized Fishermen of Florida Marathon Chapter, they're here to present a check to the Mid-Keys Booster Club. This is one of the many, many, many organizations that they support. They put on a seafood festival once a year, which is their huge fundraiser, but that fundraiser spread throughout the community in any organization that needs. They target kids, and this is the perfect uh, opportunity for them to help us out, and we want to sincerely thank them for their contribution. Thank you, Mr. Bennett. Thank you, Mr. Gonzalez, is it? Yeah, yeah. You all gotta come out to the seafood festival. You really gotta come out to the seafood festival. It's our only fundraiser, and we spend it all here in Marathon. When you say anything's got to do with kids, man, we're suffering from kids, so. If you come, you're the reason that we're here today, so we appreciate it. We love living in this town. What else can I say? Thank you very much, Mr. Bennett. How much, How much is the check for? Uh, $250. $250. Thank you. Who gets <laughs> Louis does. <laughs> well, on behalf of Marathon Elk Lodge 2139, I'd like to present this check to the Mid-Keys Booster Club. It's a check for $2,000. Right. Uh -huh. For the 2012 Gratitude Grant from the Elk National Foundation. All right. Thank you, Gary. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Gary. Thanks to Elk. Um, the Elks, uh, do a lot for us here in this community, not only for the youth, but for everyone across the board. Thank you very much. This will go a long way in our transportation needs. Yeah. 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 Yeah.